what mr rogers <laughs> what, what are you doing here this <laughs> holiday themed sweater indicates that it's time for our 2016 Gift Gifts guide for, for photographers, photographers or people who want to buy something for photographers or or photographers who like need to tell their mother-in-law a gift idea. We have everything from seven bucks up to a grand. It's all stuff that we've actually used. There's no product placement here. This isn't that, that article you see in the magazine where they're like gift ideas, but then they just, it's all product placement and ads and they've never used it. This is all stuff we like. Sure. <laughs> Seven dollars. You can't beat that. Right now, we have a lot of these. This is a lens mug. Yeah, people always get us these things. They, they yeah. were, they're worth seven dollars. <laughs> the red ring means it's pro. You're... <laughs> it's a genuine Canium nice. brand. <laughs> it is. It does say Camion though. I think that we wore all of the letters off of ours. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, these are fun. They make a good stocking stuff. They're, they're they're genuinely cool. They're okay. We have like eight of them and we do use them. They're workable and they look like lenses. So, and they're seven bucks. Sorry. They're fun. You can get them in different lenses too. Like you can get Nikon looking ones and big telephoto lenses. Did you if get you're like really a 500 millimeter? I don't know. You can definitely get 200. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like have your coffee. These, these nobody knows about these, but Who? when you travel and you need to charge up the battery, you, the the camera manufacturers always give you these battery chargers, often with like a long cable, and then you have to try to find an outlet. And if you're in some foreign country, then you need like a separate adapter for it. These are just little USB chargers for batteries. So if you have a USB battery pack or someplace where you can just charge USB stuff, you can get them for Canon, Nikon, Sony, Fuji, whatever. This link I think takes you to the Canon one, but just search. Amazon and you'll be able to find one for your camera battery chargers are an underrated Little gift because I got them for like my brother-in-law and my nephews one year and they all use them They're for yeah, their phones. USB chargers are just USB chargers are you never have enough battery power nowadays What oh my What's gosh this that, great oh, value put this here? A variety of, <laughs> the give the gift of education. Yeah, so we have our books on sale. If you go to sdp.io slash store, you can get individual books, or we also created these book bundles so you can get some really sweet deals. They're so heavy. They come with a ton Look of videos too, and a group, and our moral support. The Check ebooks are, are 10 bucks, and the paperbacks are, well, they're a little bit more. And we do ship worldwide from our yeah, store. You can get, check, go on Amazon. And look up the books up, Stunning Digital Photography. Look at the reviews. People like them. Justin, on sale for just $19. What a bargain. Okay, so we have our t-shirts on sale. We just got in more sizes, actually. We ran out of 2XL and some of the other sizes. So we got more sizes They're in. They're on stock. They're on sale, $19. It's a good gift. They're unisex. They're really comfortable. We all have them. Yeah, the worldwide shipping isn't even that much. One of these five-in-one things is pretty good deal. Are you gonna undo it? Oh man, this is gonna be a mess. You gotta go wide for this, Justin. Oh, that wow. was pretty graceful actually. It's got a gold side and a white side and you can unzip it and inside there's a, a diffuser and um, this thing flips around so it can be black or white. But, you know, we've been at this for years. I probably own this thing for a decade. Yeah. And we still use it all the time. It's, it's just easy to travel with, too. We just yeah, it just it folds up. Trip. It's light and $23. Yeah. This is a dope. Everybody needs one. Amateur, pro, whatever. It's just terribly useful. We have videos on how to use them terribly in our useful. book, Stunning Digital Photography. The flash bender. The flash bender. It's it's our favorite little flash accessory. Yeah, because it's not too bulky. It's not too heavy. It's not too ridiculous. It does its job without being a spectacle. Yeah, it's not and like it's $150 Tupperware. It's just a good deal. <gasps> it can lay <laughs> flat in your bag or you can roll it up. You can do a number of things. I like the flash bender. Yeah, we have a video on that too. This, this little cheapy tripod, $45, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's an inexpensive starter tripod. We've definitely sold more than 100 of these to people and people like them. They, yeah. they work well, it's a starter tripod. But even if you end up getting a higher end tripod later, it's still good to travel with. I like the that a one. just nice little light tripod for travel. Yeah, everybody not needs sure, a tripod, you don't really have night a photography, yeah. selfies. <laughs> Selfies, just uh, family pictures. Inevitably, you will get some dust on your sensor, and 
a lot of people send it in. That can be expensive. We always just clean it ourselves. I've been using this sensor clear kit for a long time. This kit, it's 50 bucks, which is kind of expensive, but it's cheaper than sending it in. And it comes with this loop, we like a jeweler's loop that you put up to your eye so you can actually see the dust on there. Oh yeah. And I've, I've tried out a bunch of different cleaning kits and it's just the one that I found just gets the job done. So yeah. check it out. You can go to these links here. That helps to support us. We get a few pennies out of every dollar. Oh, pennies. Uh, whack them. Whack them. I have this, the Intuos. People always ask me which tablet I'm using in my editing videos. I love my Wacom and I highly recommend it. I should do a tutorial on it. But you can get small ones or you can get really massive ones. Um, if you have an artist hand, if you like to doodle, you might find it way easier to be more precise when you're doing your editing. That's why I like it. Yeah. They're and really also, useful. you know what? My uh, forearm gets really tired. You don't have those kinds of problems, but I get achy arms if I'm trying to edit with a mouse, and this it, that doesn't happen with this. Your man pack. Yeah. <laughs> we must have a dozen backpacks in the closet because people more than send them a dozen, to us. Yeah. But the one I travel with nowadays <laughs> mostly is just this Manfrotto backpack. And Manfrotto just, you know, it's it's not like the fashion accessory of the year, no, but not super, it's not super ugly and it's yeah. really functional. It's also really lightweight. Yeah, it is has light. built in weatherproofing. So if it starts to rain, I can just put a cover over it. It's got this thing that goes on your luggage. Yeah, handle. it goes over the, the handle that you pull up on your rolling bag. An underrated feature. Yeah, that's the, yeah. Uh, <laughs> check it out. They have a range of different backpacks. They have backpacks, $2, different sizes. backpacks? No, that should be $200, I think. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> I say, totally screwed up that, that slide. Solid gold backpack. What if, oh my Chelsea? Gosh. What if people want all of our books? Can you we can cut them the some kind lover. of deal? We're cutting you deals. We're wheeling and we're dealing. We also have a, a bundle for people that already have stunning digital photography, so they can get everything but that book and get a discount. And that's for the paperback price. If you want the ebooks, it's actually cheaper. Cheaper. Oh. Software. Software. Yeah. At some point, in, if somebody's shooting, they're gonna need just Photoshop and Lightroom. They're still pretty much the best things out there. And I just recommended this to a friend who sent me an email the, asking about editing you, software. You pretty much have to just get the Creative Cloud deal. I know monthly payments and all that, but that's really, Adobe is kind of forcing your hand on that. Check it out at sdp.io slash Adobe deal. I, it didn't sound like I was recommending it, but I am. It's still, <laughs> we have plenty of beefs with them, but it's still the best thing going. I like it. I like Photoshop a lot. The okay. everything bundle. We're still talking about us. It's all uh, these books plus our videos, which are just <clears throat> a little bit more, but it's steeply discounted. Is that the actual price? Uh, I don't know. I think you're wrong. That could be. Uh, a higher end <laughs> tripod. This is great for travel. The uh, Manfrotto <laughs> Be Free tripod. Um, they sent us one, but we're under no oblig. No, we didn't. We had to buy that. <laughs> we just bought it. And we love it. So there you go. We tested lots and lots of different tripods, but I travel with this all the time. I like this tripod it folds a lot too. up tight and it's actually functional. Easy to use. And if simple. you don't believe us, check our review of this because we had another tripod and we were also quite honest about that. <laughs> well, we'll say it when something's bad. The Rokinon like eight millimeter fisheye, it's only 240 bucks. You can get it for just about any type of camera. And it's just, it's a fisheye. It's a type of lens you probably haven't used before. It's yeah, very it's creative. It's, it's a challenge to use, but it will let you see the world in a completely different way. Like it's a challenge. Like sometimes your feet will get in the shot. It's that wide angle. Yeah. But it's fun and you'll get interesting images. It's a creative exercise. Yep. It's a circle on a full frame camera or full frame fisheye on a APS-C camera. Another inexpensive Rokinon lens is the 85 millimeter uh, f1.4, which is a great portrait lens. It's the lens we use to, to take this uh, picture of on our Lightroom book, actually. And so you can get crazy background blur, great yeah, image it's quality. Also a fun lens to use. Yeah, but it's manual focus. So that's a challenge. 300 but it's bucks. 300 bucks, so. Drones. What Everybody feel, wants drones? them. I love them. They're I cameras not... that literally float. It's awesome. I wasn't on board with the drones at first because I thought, they're like, guys always have helicopters and stuff. I just thought it was like that. No, they're amazing because you have a view. Right. They're so much fun. And yeah. even Siobhan, we let Siobhan fly one and she just said, this is great. They're so much fun. So 400 bucks if you get the Phantom 3. It's an older version less expensive. You could go upscale. You could get the Phantom 4 or the Phantom 4 Pro, which is newer. What are they, 1500 Yeah. 
So, but this is a good way to start fine. out. It's a good this way to start. This will let you see if you're into it. You're going to be into it. You're, you're probably going to be into you're it. You're going to be into it. Once you see that as a photographer with a photographer's eye that you can go up into the air and get all these interesting mm -hmm. angles, you can point straight down, you can fly out over water, places you couldn't otherwise get to. It's really a powerful thing, drones. These Godox lights. We have yeah. shot with them a few times and we just took them to a workshop in Thailand. We brought them all the way to Thailand. They weren't that heavy. It wasn't that big of a deal. Nope. And, you know, 600 bucks. That's the price of like a Canon or Nikon flash. Just yeah. a little on-camera flash. And this is a proper strobe that it's right proper. has a battery in it, so there's no cables. But you can use it in a studio because the battery lasts for an outrageous number of shots. Well, what I also like about it is you could bring it into, if you're doing an outdoor shoot, it's very easy to bring outside. You yeah, have to you worry just, about a power source or extra batteries. Thing. That's it. Um, it has, they have transmitters that fit onto just about any type of camera. So we did a workshop with like 10 photographers, mm -hmm. each having different types of cameras. And I just gave the Sony guys a Sony transmitter and the Canon guys a Canon transmitter. And it all just worked seamlessly, allowing full remote control over the output. I get the Bowens mount version because they have different versions, but the Bowens mount connects to a wide variety of soft boxes and beauty dishes that you can get inexpensively. Uh, my experience with it has just been great. I really like it. Yeah. I like that too. Um, a printer. Now, there are lots of different photo printers out there and I haven't tested them all. This isn't the one that we have upstairs, is it? It's a smaller version? No, this is the one we have upstairs. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, and it will print, I think, 13 inch wide. So you can make pretty good sized prints out of it. They're nice prints too. They look just totally pro. Yeah. And uh, I, for, a long, for the longest time, I sent out all my prints. But once we got this printer, I started printing more and more at home. And it's actually really useful. I have to say, I was, I thought that this was going to be just a huge eyesore in the office and that we would never use it. And we use it all the time because the prints are way higher quality than I expected. And it's a good way to see what your work looks like on a wall or not on your screen. Mm -hmm. And we just give a lot of prints to family members and stuff. It's fun to have around. Yeah. So I, I like do recommend a good photo printer. It's different than just your bubble jet office printer. The photo printer makes just better quality prints, bigger sizes. And of course, there's one more draw. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. The this Phantom we talked about one. earlier is fine, but it's bulky. It's a pain to travel with. This thing, Look man. This. Yeah, it folds up so we tight. We brought this to Thailand too, and everyone was amazed that you just had it squeezed into your backpack. Yeah, it was so small, I could just carry it with me everywhere, and it was no problem. And then. You know, I wouldn't have to plan around it. I would just have it with me and I'd be like, oh, it's a really nice night. I actually have a place, a, t a time when I can fly it safely. And I would just pull it out and fly it. You it should check out Tony's Instagram because he just flew it off of the back of a boat. It was really cool. Yeah, the Mavic is really revolutionary in the drone world just because of the small form we factor. We put little but teeth on ours. Quality. Do you see like little bomber teeth? <laughs> All right, isn't it cute? Yeah, it's, it's cute. I want to name it Justin. <laughs> That's going to get confusing. Like, oh man, I lost Justin in the ocean. <laughs> Justin's wife Justin starts crashed crying. again. <laughs> I think I broke Justin. That's it. Happy holidays, guys. Yeah, we're not great at closing out videos. <laughs> Everybody says that. This is the hardest part. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>